CMS releases provider COVID-19 case and death totals to consumers on Nursing Home Compare, and Nursing Home Doctors recommend ways to reduce COVID-19 deaths as prospect of a second wave looms. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, June 10th, 2020. To stay in all of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The number of coronavirus deaths and cases among facilities, residents, and workers is now publicly available on the Nursing Home Compare website, CMS announced Thursday afternoon. The effort comes after CMS required providers to report any COVID-19 cases directly to the CDC through the National Healthcare Safety Network. The agency released the first round of early data on Monday, which showed that about 26,000 residents and 450 staff have died from the disease, and overall 60,000 residents and 34,400 staff have gotten sick. CMS said that at the time that 80% of facilities submitted the data. Updated numbers from Thursday, however, revealed that about 88% of the nation's nursing homes now have reported their COVID-19 data. There are a total of about 95,000 confirmed cases and 32,000 deaths. The agency said that, quote, at vast majority of facilities are submitting data correctly and the most common errors are from providers who enter cumulative data instead of new information. Representatives added that they're working with providers to correct any errors. Following the release of the data on Monday, Senators Ron Wyden and Bob Casey criticized CMS for releasing incomplete data on COVID-19 in nursing homes. Quote, the data is shockingly sparse and lacks reporting by almost one in five nursing homes. Nursing homes were not required to submit data on cases and deaths before May 1st, meaning we may never know the full scope of this tragedy, the lawmaker said in a statement. In response to the estimate that more than one-third of COVID-19 deaths have occurred in long-term care facilities, the American Medical Directors Association has published recommendations to decrease the spread of the pandemic virus among nursing home residents and staff. Recommended protocols for facility staff also include COVID-19 testing on a serial basis, three tests one week apart to enable identification of newly infected staff. Also recommended is to have staff assigned to specific units to permit easier contact tracing in the event of COVID cases, and to have staff who are assigned to COVID-19 units not work elsewhere in the facility. Among other recommendations, the creation of COVID-specific units, screening of residents twice daily, discontinuation of drug delivery modes, for example, nebulizers, that might spread the virus, and reviews with patients and families of do not incubate or do not hospitalize advanced directives. Quote, the time has come to consolidate our learnings as a field in terms of caring for at-risk elderly and implement uniform best practices, especially as we prepare for a potential second wave of infections in the coming months, as well as for future pandemics, adds Lester, who, along with her co-authors, serves as skilled nursing facility certified medical director. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week. And I'll see you on Wednesday.